Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the physical separation technique, simple distillation. In the last video we looked at how we can use crystallization to separate a dissolved solid from a liquid. In this example we have a solution of sodium chloride in water. And remember that a solution in water is called an aqueous solution. By gently heating the solution we can evaporate the liquid, in this case the water. And when the water evaporates we're left with crystals of the solid, which in this case is sodium chloride. So crystallization is a great way of separating a dissolved solid from a liquid. Now there is a problem here. What if we want to separate a dissolved solid from a liquid, but we want to keep the liquid? Well in this case we use simple distillation. Now I should point out that there's another type of distillation called fractional distillation, and we're going to be looking at fractional distillation in the next video. Okay, now simple distillation consists of two stages. First, we evaporate the liquid by heating. This turns the liquid into a vapor. Next, we condense the vapor back to a liquid by cooling. I'm showing you here the apparatus that we use to carry out simple distillation. First, we place our solution with the liquid and dissolved solid into the flask. The flask is connected to a continuous glass tube, which I'm showing you with the yellow arrow. The glass tube is surrounded by a jacket called the condenser. Cold water from the tap continuously runs through the condenser, so the condenser keeps the internal glass tube cold. After running through the condenser, the tap water simply goes down the sink. We also have a thermometer as part of the apparatus. So let's see what happens during simple distillation. We start by heating our solution, for example by using a Bunsen burner. As we heat the solution, the liquid starts to evaporate, turning into a vapor. The vapor now rises up the glass tube. As the vapor passes over the thermometer, the thermometer reading increases. Usually with simple distillation, we heat the solution until it boils. Next, the vapor passes into the condenser. Remember that the condenser is cold because we're circulating cold tap water around it. This causes the vapor to condense, turning back to a liquid as it passes through the condenser, and we can collect the liquid in the beaker. So at the end, we're left with crystals of our solid in the flask and our liquid in the beaker. Now, simple distillation can be used to produce drinking water from seawater. However, a great deal of energy is required for simple distillation, so generally it's not used to produce drinking water. Other techniques are used instead. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above.